Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create links to other slides in a document on Google Slides. So uh, I'm a teacher and a professor, so I have a week by week schedule for all of my different classes I teach just to keep me organized, to keep them organized. So there's about 40 weeks that um, I've planned out so far, and each one of these is actually a link that will take them to the correct slide that has the information for that week. So I'll demonstrate what that looks like at the end, but I'm gonna show you how to use that first. How does, how does that work? Okay, so we're on the fifth week, so I'm gonna go ahead and start linking my next couple weeks. So week six is gonna need a link. So I'm gonna highlight what I would like to make my link. I'm going to use the hyperlink tool that we've used before, so insert link. Instead of pasting a website like I normally would if I was creating a hyperlink, I'm going to click on slides in this presentation and it's gonna give me a down arrow to all of the slides that are in this presentation. So I've gone through and I've already labeled all of my slides. I'm gonna look for the one that says week six, which happens to be right here because that's what I'm linking it to, week six. So if I click on that and then click apply, it's gonna underline it because it's a hyperlink, but we can go back and fix that. I'm gonna do the same thing again for seven. So again, you highlight the text that you would like to link. You're gonna click on the hyperlink tool I'm going to click on slides in this presentation and I'm gonna look for the correct slide. So for me, this is going to be week seven. Okay, and I'm gonna hit apply. So that's what that looks like. Now, I don't like how it underlines everything. So all you have to do, I'm using a table. So I just had to select the table and I'm going to um, un underline it like this. And I think it also altered my color a little. So I'm gonna make sure that everything is the same color. Okay, but if you wanted, like here, I'll do this one again just to show you. Slides in this presentation for week eight. Apply. It changes it to something I don't like. So you can just select all of that. Um, I'm going to make it the same color as everything else. And I'm going to take off that underline. So now it matches everything else. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's actually a really useful tool. So in presentation mode, You've got your same document, but week one, it takes you to week one. I also use the same principle to add in a home button. So this button up here will take you, oops, it will take you back to the week by week document. So if I wanted to go to week two, it's a hyperlink to week two, and then I can go back home and week three, and again, I can go back home. So this makes it really easy to jump around a presentation instead of having to, you know, scroll through everything and be like week one, week two, week three, week four, you could just always go back to this main page and then click on the week that you wanna to go to. And if you just highlight the text, it'll show you what it's linked to. So you can always just double check week three. Yes, that's co the correct link. So this is something really helpful for organization. Um, sometimes if you have like online notebooks or something, um, I might have my students put a table of contents up at the top where they have to tell me what's on each slide and then they can actually link to that slide. So they can be like, hey, my chapter one notes are here and then they can link to that. So it's really easy to navigate, especially if you have a very long presentation. Obviously, after 40 weeks of school, it will be a very long presentation. So this is a quick way to jump exactly where you need. And then, like I said, I did the same thing with the... Um, the space bar up here. So it takes you back to the week by week document. So I just selected this shape up here. So at the top, kind of like an internet browser, right? And um, that's what this is designed to look like. So I just did that and I clicked on the link button and I added it back to the slide four, which is the week by week document, which takes you here. So I always can go back, which is something that I really like to do. So I hope that that helps you organize your slides a little bit and y'all have a great day.